We are really excited to be announcing Brightco, Brightco Perform here at the show. Uh, it's a really big announcement for us in a couple of ways. First of all, it's the first time we've offered the Brightco Player as a standalone modular service. The Brightco Player is the most widely used player in the world outside of YouTube. Uh, it's incredibly functional, has incredible power, does all kinds of great stuff for our customers. And now it's also available as a standalone API-based module that people can integrate into other systems. So that's really exciting. But equally important is it's a whole new player. It's the first time that we've just completely rewritten the player in its history, and it is now the fastest, lightest, most flexible, uh, most innovative player in the market. It's really the first second generation player. Everybody started 10 years ago building flash-based players and then porting all of that to HTML. And what we've done is we've started from ground zero and built a best of class system that both from a management perspective and a playback perspective is faster and more flexible and more standards based than anything else we've seen. It's a cloud-based service, it's all API based, so uh, our customers can integrate with the API, they can integrate it obviously with video cloud, but they can integrate it with other content management systems, other back-end systems, um, and uh, we then handle the management, the configuration, the compilation, the delivery of the players uh, in a, a very flexible, high-performance way. Um, we see a wide range of use cases, and over time, we think it'll be used, you know, it'll be the most widely used player service in the world. Uh, but in the short term, our, our primary focus has been on the biggest media companies with the most complex needs. If you think about what people are trying to do these days with advertising, with analytics, with DRM, with closed captions, with security, with user experience, it's very complicated to manage all of that. And we think that we've solved that in a really interesting way. And so uh, we'll see some of the largest media companies in the world adopt this very quickly. One of the things that we're really excited about is we think customers will be able to adopt this very rapidly. It's very easy to adopt. It's a very clean API uh, and be able to get to market very quickly. And then uh, the performance is just incredibly important. Um, uh, one of the things we've seen from the world of e-commerce and, and all the studies of the web over the years is uh, the faster you load, the more likely someone will stay on your page and we have faster load times than anyone else we've seen. And so what we see is that generates more views, longer view times, more time on site, more ad views. And so what it really means is that our customers will make more money. And that's something we're really excited about and it's really exciting to be able to take technology and apply it to a business problem and have a big impact. So uh, here at IBC, or four or five months ago at NAB and in the industry, I, I, we still see that the biggest challenge that most people are facing with is the incredible fragmentation of the consumer landscape with uh, new devices, uh, phones, tablets, TVs, Chromecast, uh, Apple TV, uh, that is forcing a lot of technical change, a lot of fragmentation in formats, fragmentation in DRM, fragmentation in closed captions. And um, it's making it really expensive and difficult to reach your audience. And, but the audience expectations are that they'll be able to watch anything, anytime, anywhere. And so there's a mismatch right now. And that's really our biggest focus as a company. Whether it's our encoding solutions or it's our new player solution, it's how do we solve that complexity so that our customers can focus on content and on monetization and we can solve the technical problem. And I think we're ahead of anyone else, whether it's reaching a new device like Chromecast or Amazon Fire TV, uh, or it's uh, the fastest delivery across the traditional web devices.